Hydro Strike ready. He's surrounded and beaten down. And that will go to Koikfa. This is a very... Final auto attack and CC won't be able to get it. The Legion Commander finds the first kill on Puppy. One kill going their way in the end. They did lose their Skyrath to start that. So a one for one exchange. Not a bad trade, but the tower is probably going down here. Secret. EGM they apparently did not fallen. expect him there. Big Daddy got the plane just completely zoning out of Legion Commander, so she's level one in like four or five minutes. And yeah, he gets always gets the space that he needs from the support. Well, they might look to create more space now. They've got a smoke ready to go, S4. He pushed in the middle lane with the max plasma field and now makes the rotation top. And now he will make his retreat. This means no Enigma top lane. Hero comes through. That only hits on Fido, not the most important target. Now they cool. They focus Kuroki, but his school plus does a lot of work. Quickly, even with the blade now, they still can't bring the friggin' Medusa down. Just targets too fast. S4 wasn't even scratched and he cleaned out. It's an FB that comes in and will force that Kuroki in a big deeper. And this time he will go down. They lose their Sand King in the process though. And the Rage Rex will fall. They need a lot of cleanup here. S4 to drop. That's two cores down. A big win for Tinker, but an even bigger loss. Such a triple for PyCat. They do hold the Tinker. They have a duel ready to go. He's certainly a more killable target than this the Medusa. No RP to start. You are a four back. How the dual range? No, it doesn't matter. Black hole. Oh, and maybe it does matter. Five heroes caught in up by Puppy, but they have that switch up during this time. What looks like a perfect black hole might not have been that great at all. Quick for now on the chase on the Puppy. Goes for the duel, gets the damage. He's a winner. But the real problem is not being addressed. And that's Kuroki. He brings down one. Now going on to the claim. We'll go for additional targets. Quick for dealt with. Three down for the side of Team Secret, but it's about to be three down for Tinker, unless this Burrow Strike can get them out of safety. Just using auto attack so that Pycat can't blink away. On the Ghost after use, he's getting a Ghost Walk, or a Skeleton Walk. Look to retreat out, won't happen. A triple kill back the other direction, but Tinker lost both carries. Secret only lost one. Well, Kuroki wasn't even scratched. I doubted Kiro's ability to carry everything this game, but <laughs> there, there's no limit. Imagine if he had been auto tagging Radiant's during that black hole. That would have been a attack. <laughs> guaranteed teamwork. Still manages to turn the fight around. Dyer's and the problem now is no buyback on the clinks. Down for 60 seconds. Kroki just toggling his monster, still almost taunting Team Tinker here. Dyer's as he confidently will fortified. take that second lane of ranks. No way they stop this. It's only a Skyrath Mage and a Sand King alive. No core to fight. They close in. Secret close in on another victory. And it's only their third game, but they're playing some of the biggest teams in the group. They took down Navi earlier, they took down Team Tinker. I forget who the first team was, but I think it was it Alliance? Nah, they took down Cloud9. Cloud9, yeah. Three three teams that most would put in their top, what, five or six? For the, the European division. That's putting Secret in good shape as long as they don't throw away any games that should be that they should be heavily favored in. To a hot start here in, in the summit too, that's for damn sure. Secret will go for what looks like a potential death push bottom lane. They are starting to group up. There's no black hole though. Tinker may look to try to take a fight outside the base. They only have a single RP. They will have epicenter. And they find that good opening. I don't Is think so. Is there an opening to be had? As long as Deusa gets her stone gaze off, they really can't kill her. And even if they do uh, manage to go on her without stone gaze, she's on top. She probably, they're probably still not going to kill her. He has now a completed butterfly, four slotted with treads. He still has room to farm. That's the scary part. It's not like Kuroki's Kro six slotted and they're barely winning fights. He's four slotted, they're crushing fights, and he could still get bigger if he needs it. But the jump is prepared by Tinker. Fortunately, that Observer Ward, I believe they have Observer Ward, can spot them out now. But he's trying to retreat out. Shot from will come through. Yeah, they've got one on the hill. I think teams are still not quite used to that hill being a wardable location. Seems like a few times now that it's there, but someone by surprise. A push in bottom, S4, lashing away at the tower, Kuroki, Dyer's chipping at it, and it will drop. Fallen. Last lane of racks now, potentially in jeopardy. Dyer's Tinker dealing with Priest in the mid, attack. dealing with a beefy Gorgon in the bottom lane, who's supersized. Razor getting excitable with his lightning flashes. Now he uses a plasma kill once to cancel those blink daggers. Nobody can initiate. And the melee rack is in jeopardy. They gotta go in right now, even if they do. It's probably already too late. Pi Cat and Clip are hesitating. This will be mega creep. They get off their duel. Black hole is there, but it's canceled quickly. Two supports down the drain. But no two is the Who focuses on Pi Cat with support? 
perfect RP from Saint Saint. He gets both cores, but he's also disabled by the Stone Gate, so he can't do a thing. He'll end up falling. And now it's a two for two chorus trade as Koifa finally goes to the full opening. But at the center, even better from EGM. Well, except he doesn't really do anything to Kuroki. He's running low on a three shot Bulba. Now turns on EGM. It's a triple for Kuroki. Will it be an ultra? No, maybe not. Maybe yes. He's close. Who cares? S4 is going for tier fours. Says we don't need kills. Pike has no, no chat. Oh, shield will go go down. It is an ultra kill. Secret unstoppable in the push. They'll take yet another win in the stomach, too. And that, it's just the way they're winning. Another disconnect pause right as the throne's about to die. Kiro makes Medusa look OP. It really does. I think it, part of it is just due to his ability to farm to take it too fast and just make her time of relevancy five minutes earlier than normal players. And I thought they had enough damage to take her down. Need Necro I did books, too. <laughs> I thought... need Mana Burners, need uh, Bashers, some form of more permanent stun luck, apparently. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Or you have to shut her down very early. Yes. And with the Clanks, Offlane Legion, you're not really going to be able to do that. Well, that wraps up our fifth of six games on the day, Ben. The final one is going to be, uh, what is it? I believe it's Alliance versus Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. So we see the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers looking for their second upset of the day. Congratulations, The Secret. Now 3-0 in the Summit. I believe Tinker 4-1. Both teams still doing well, though, and in great position to move on to the playoffs. I'm LD. It's Merlini. We'll be right back. Three heroes rotating through misery coming in. This could be bad. Net to start. Impale to follow. So sure, Cat didn't even steal the reactive armor. Oh, he's in trouble now. Whirly death. Not gonna save him. Oh, maybe it will. No. Nope. I'll end up falling. Normal. That Scarif Mage base movement speed making the difference. At least for Loda, his his bottle wasn't on the curve. He has net skilled up though. If he gets off the net, this is gonna be trouble. The silence from Sinego just a bit too slow. Riptide is used. Only two auto attacks to get this. Maybe three. Not gonna happen. So a nice is he? Yeah, he should. Eight mother. He wants top lane to go into eight mother. A lot of damage for the ogre, but he's still stealing his beat to back the other way. Faithful doesn't care. Just Chant tanks it anyway. Day four gets aggressive. That ogre just so damn strong. Going ham with the stuns. And on two. Secures that kill. And bottom lane, eight mother. Again goes the anti mage. Fearless of this lion. He will blink out. Uh oh. Knockshot, sorry, blinks in. Thought he was going to retreat. He mana voids Ake. And doesn't quite get the kill. Now they're rotating the Rubik. Only level 5. Fade Bolt won't be nearly enough to score this one. Better about doing so. Oh, not the time with the Radiance. Hopefully, this is where they can start mounting the contact punch. They are right in on the Dikyara, but then one. Then Ake just got it. He got an ulti cast it. Hello, mister. Goodbye. And they lost the gem, too. Do they see it? Oh, they, I think they do. They were busy killing off the Razor. Uh, yeah, uh, just to echo your point, I mean, having two, three big items when your opponent has one or two, that's a huge advantage. But if you have like five when they have four, or six when they have five, the difference really isn't as noticeable. So, right now, their relative strength is extremely high, and finish him will be the call for PR, or at least attempting to do it. Five heroes down mid, so Nico joining the crew. They have to be aggressive or like just straight walk up the hill with anti mage. He has heart, he has mana style, he has battle fury, he has an Aegis. He's bloodlust too. Yeah, you just walk up the hill. You Don't got be Ogre. You got Ogre backing you up. It's like having two heroes on your team. Two heads better than one. Tier 3, under siege. Anti mage still holding that mantis style for now. Not really even remote He does lose a decent amount of HP. His Ogre will begin to roll the dice a bit, throwing out an ignite here or there. Do they really want to leave their base? No, they just want to scare. They're out of her. They need a mech. They could have just mech'd up and just kept going. I don't really know why. Or they need to get hype right now, which they do. But it's true. That's a lot of damage they've already taken. Did he rock? Throw up in the air. multi cap from the ogre. And then what? Then the tower will fall. That's the big prize claim. Still looking for that alliance jump in. Cal on the Did rock? No work on the range racks. That's the easier axe to bring down. Ake has a finger ready to go. He's only level one. Timber 
Sheldon gets aggressive, jumping onto the history, a huge slice of those blades, and once again, the ultimate magic user down for the count. Don't lose Loda before he can But my back immediately, but Aki is already dead. And it might just be too late. Both sides, they've used multiple by now. Triple, in fact. And he still has a trick in ages. He goes toe to toe. Die, magic users. Fall before the wrath of the AM. As he blinks forward, Bulldog will take down the Viper Strike. No, barely survives. And Team Age is leveling up. This NBA jam time for him. No retreat out. Prince, Prince the Ranger actually texts. Remember, this is only life number one. And they've already used three buybacks. Let's so try and bring him down halfway. Eight Mother, dead. TR, overwhelming alliance. Just absolutely slaughtering them. Rubik dies at the tier 4 tower. That's probably game then. All aboard tower is a type train. We got a song to play when this one's over. Jeez, they're just making it look easy today. Cloud 9, a lot. No skin off their back, and it's just standards too. I don't know who they've been using as standards, but I don't remember both of these players. Maybe they're just using this baby. Either way, just like that's gonna timber chain out when the chase comes in, digging out raw, farming Ake under the tier 4. Nice spin around the road, he might be able to pop this ages. Five dead, that was a triple, actually a quadruple dieback from Alliance. You just got wiped, then lost four again. It, it's time to GG. Whether you like it or not, they're going to go. And Misery will call it. Alliance only the second game here in the summit too. But they're always Yikes. Two. And they are the way they're losing. In That's the fact trouble. And again, the disconnect pauses. Radiant victory. Uh, explodes with the little icing on the cake there for the power in victory. Not much more to say than they just got to play across the board. The Lions had a good level one game on Timber. That's <laughs> yeah, again, it's just like, an, uh, imagine if they didn't have that, dude. Hey, negative, Woo! negative fantasy points. Oh, really? Yeah. Second time. Oh, over there. I can't reach that far. Poor Razor. You got a point. No. Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Going off screen. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up our coverage of the Summit 2 Europe. We do not have America today, so that concludes today's broadcast. We have a great rebroadcast coming up. Lots of awesome games. Of course, he's Merlini. You can follow him at Merlini Dota if you enjoy my casting at LD Dota. And, of course, be sure to follow at Beyond the Summit for VODs and just general news. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Nothing more to say than the Summit 2 by G2A.com. It's a wrap for today. We'll see you tomorrow.